here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! She's right. We should scrum while we can. Right. Lead the goblins here, then leave the rest of us to fight them off, you coward! What's it gonna take to shut you up, Hordes? You're right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes, the both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. I wouldn't have looked to a drow for help, but I'm grateful all the same. I'm Zevlor. I meant no insult. It's simply that yours are a people at war with themselves. I've never known them to care for outsiders. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. We owe you a great debt. What little we have, we'll scrape together. It isn't coin we need, it's time. Really? We're messengers now? You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense. Oh, and if it's of any concern, you're brave to walk around without hiding your heritage. I'll make sure everyone knows that you helped us at the gate. This is about your precious Borders Gate. I care about our lives. You two. Oh, my fill of this place. Goblins. You lose yourself in the scab's weeping sea. It is no masterwork, but it provides a base bliss to gaze upon. Like the sight of blood, do you? Thought you'd have had your fill at the gate. Might be more blood spilled yet if Zevlor starts in on the lectures again. And what about our people? Half the crew's lying dead back in that ruin. Even the new lad, his first contract, and we land him in a god's damned goblin nest. He actually stood and fought the stupid bastard. Like I never trained him better. No. He must have thought we were following. Always the optimist was Liam. Hope they cut him down quick before he saw we were gone. Small mercy. 
Don't make me urge you, boy. Too late! Looking at you is painful enough! <clears throat> Give it back, kid! I already told you I don't have it! How stupid are you? I'm only gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I've never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head! here and both of you thought striking a child was a suitable punishment if his parents won't do it I will he's an orphan how'd you like it if I struck you you raise a hand to me it a better of stealing it Snake! Go, child! And you, you had this coming. And stay down. I got beaten thanks to you. But at least I got my locket back. Get out of my face! Got nothing to say to you. Hey! Come back here, both of you! We ain't done! No helping it. Get out of my face! Got nothing to say to you. I'm only gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I've never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head! You threatening me? Understand, the kid stole my locket. He... How oh, the hell's with this? These little devils get away with everything because of cuddly bastards like you. You'll get yours someday. I hope I get to see it. Maybe you will, but personally, I doubt it. See you around. <laughs>
I'm only going to ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I've never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head. I said I don't have it. Maybe he dropped it running away from those big, scary goblins. You little split tongue freak! here you goddamn snake go child and you you had this coming and stay down I'm only going to ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I've never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head. I said I don't have it. Maybe he dropped it running away from those big, scary goblins. You little split tongue freak! Still anything. Fine. I have the stupid amulet. Take it. To impress a girl, most like. It looked like my mother's, all right? Just take the damn thing and leave me alone! Keep it, kid. You need it more than me. Thanks for stepping between me and the kid. My mum gave me that amulet. But I think she'd be happy knowing the kid, is it, now? Yeah. I know she would.
children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! We lost him back at the ruins. Whole place is crawling with gobbos. He trusted you. Nobody forced him to go with us. He insisted. And when things got tough, he couldn't keep up. Simple as that. My god, you're a coward. The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. Should have done that a long time ago. Arrogant prick had it out for me from day one. No one leaves my people out cold. Too little, too late. He was right, though. I'd rather face another round of goblins. Speak. Chuck, you believe you can, as you say. Something the matter? All right, some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Move. Something the matter. Something the matter. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! We lost him back at the ruins. Old place is crawling with gobbos. He trusted you. Nobody forced him to go with us. He insisted. And when things got tough, he couldn't keep up. Simple as that. My god, you're a coward. The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. He 
acts before you can intervene. Should have done that a long time ago. Arrogant prick had it out for me from day one. No one leaves my people out cold. He was right, though. Coming back to this hellhole was a mistake no amount of gold can put right. I'd rather face another round of goblins than stay in this pit. Could have been worse. What a day. well that ends not as bad as it could have I should have expected that. What I didn't expect was help out there from a drow. Thank you. I'm Zevlor. Well met. I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though... I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Turning your back on the needy to save your own skin? Maybe we'll get along after all. I understand. I can only thank you for the help you've already given. We are raised to fear the drow, but you've earned your place here. I'll make sure everyone here knows that. <laughs> 